Kiss Wednesday with another Joe Hampson track by track album battle. And this time he wanted me to put Lick It Up by Kiss vs. Night Songs from Cinderella. Now, I've done a Night Songs not too long ago where I was praising the hell out of this album. It's the only Cinderella album I like. And, you know, how the cover could be deceiving because I think it's an awesome hard rock with some metal involved. Great album. Horrible cover. And Lick It Up, I love Lick It Up. I, you know, recently I just said, man, I like Lick It Up more than Creature of the Night. And you know what? I like Lick It Up more than Night Songs. I love Lick It Up. Great album. So let's go. Let's do this. All right. We start with Exciter versus Night Songs. Both majorly kick ass. But I got to go with Cinderella on that one. Definitely Night Songs. Giving it to Night Songs. Next, Not For The Innocent versus Shake Me. Easily Not For The Innocent. I love that damn song. It's a demon song, man. What's up with Gina Simmons, huh? The demon song pops up here and there, but during this era, man, it popped up two albums in a row. You know? I guess you can say the same thing about Revenge and Carnival of Souls with Unholy and Hate. Two albums in a row had the demon, but... Where was the demon before that? We had the demon on uh, God of Thunder. I believe that was the debut of the demon. There's no demon songs on Rock and Roll Over. And then, I guess, Almost Human. There's not a lot of demon songs. You think about it. It's a 50-year career, you know. There's not a lot of demon songs. I can't think of no demon songs in the be- in the first three albums. You know, maybe Parasite, but Ace wrote it. Whatever. Let's keep going. All right, I'm giving that for Not For The Innocent. All right, next. Lick It Up versus Nobody's Fool. Easily, Nobody's Fool. Lick It Up, not a fan, man. And I love Nobody's Fool. I think it's an awesome killer ballad. Or a power ballad, as they said back then. Or as they say today. It's a great power ballad. I dig ballads done right, and this one is done right. All right, next. Young and Wasted versus Nothing for Nothing. Man, Nothing for Nothing for me is the Dark Horse killer song off this album. Remember seeing them play this live when they opened for David Lee Roth? It was awesome. But I'm going with Young and Wasted. My all-time favorite kid song wins that one. All right, Gimme Gimme More versus uh, Once Around the Ride. I dig them both, but Once Around the Ride takes that one, man. I think that song just smokes. All right. All Hell's Breaking Loose versus Hell on Wheels. Both killer songs. I'm going with All Hell's Breaking Loose, though. I love the hell out of it. I heard, I don't know, I got to do some research. I think Eric Carr, like, had something to do with the writing of the song. Because I know all four members were credited on the song. And I heard Eric Carr didn't like the final version. I know he felt that way about Under the Rose, which he wrote as well. But, all right, so um, All Hell's Breaking Loose, giving it that one. I like the version. All right, A Million to One versus Somebody Save Me. Ooh. I'm going with Cinderella, man. And I don't think A Million to One's ever lost on an album, track by track album battle. I don't think it has. Because that song is so awesome. It, it It just met its match. Somebody Save Me wins. All right, next. Fits Like a Glove versus In From the Outside. Easily fits like a glove. In From the Outside, Aerosmith, Warship, it's whatever. Next, Dance All Over Your Face versus Push Push. Easily Dance All Over Your Face. Not a fan of Push Push. And it was a song that they kept playing, but I'm just not a fan of it. I I love Dance All Over Your Face. Probably my second least favorite on here, but I still think it smokes. All right, on uh, on the eighth day versus back home, man, they're both awesome. I'm gonna have to go on the eighth day, man. Barely though, because back home again rips. So uh, that's it, Joe Hampson. This is the final score. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. This was a good fun th- track by track album battle, and you got a few more coming up, man. And I want to thank everybody out there for watching. You all rule. 
Thank you so much. Uh, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. In case uh, you are subscribed, check to see if you're still subscribed. Because people say they've been getting unsubscribed for no reason. So, you know, take a look, see, and subscribe again in case they did unsubscribe to you. And then leave your comments below about Lick It Up and uh, Cinderella. I love to read stuff like that. And uh, like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob.